Hello, everybody. Um, it's a Friday morning, and I'm here with a, a proud intended parent. Good morning. We're having a little play date, I suppose. So, um, you don't need to share us with your name, but um, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Are you a, a single person? Are you a couple? Yeah, I'm a, so I'm a single dad from <sighs> Barcelona, Spain. Okay. And, yeah. And why, first of all, we need to see the baby. Come, come closer. Show off your beautiful baby, baby daughter. Baby. Ooh, she's so cute. She's, let's see. She's very wise. She's very not wise? Much, not that much. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> let's, keep, let's see the cute baby. Oh, and Hello. how old is she? Hello. She's 22 days today. 22 days. 22 days. 20, well, today is 21st, 21st. 21 days today. 21 days old. At 747. She's already so much bigger. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. She's sound asleep. Yeah. Okay. So today we just want to kind of like ask you a couple questions about your journey and and thank you so much for being willing to share. Sure. So um, first thing is, what what was the the hardest part about being uh, an intended parent in this whole journey? So this this is a little, like this can be a very long journey and with lots of difficulties, lots of challenge. Uh, but at the end, I mean, completely amazing. I would do that another time for sure. Make sure you come closer. And, uh, People want to see your baby. Shh. The most difficult part was uh, I was in I've been in Europe. I live in Europe, and uh, so my surrogate was here in Canada. So being so far, you really need to to trust, trust the process, trust the surrogate, trust Nathan, trust everybody. And uh, I think that's a very important part of about the process. Oh my God! This uh, you don't have any, uh, you don't have any control on the pregnancy. Obviously, I mean, I'm a man. I, I cannot do it on my own, and uh, I was there in mm -hmm. Europe. So there's lots of things that you cannot control. So there's but, a bit of geographical um, yeah. difference between where you and where your surrogate is. Yeah. So um, having trust is the thing that you've talked about. Um, is there any other kind of advice on how uh, did some of your communication worked or? I would say uh, you have to, yeah, trust is uh, extremely important, but then patience is super patience? important. Sometimes you just need to wait and like nothing, nothing's happening or everything is just happening as it should. And, uh, and you just need to wait, wait mm -hmm. a few months. And, did, uh, did you and your surrogate talk? On like a weekly basis, once a month, like how we, do it work? We've been in touch like nearly every day uh, through WhatsApp, and it's been like a wonderful communication, and that was really okay. That was really awesome. That was really positive. So, did yeah. you guys talk about that beforehand? Like, how often you want to communicate? Or it was very natural. So we knew we wanted to be in touch pretty often, but then without forcing it, we were just communicating. Uh, yeah, like nearly uh, every day, I would say. At least okay. a few messages, like, hey, how are you doing? Yeah. Okay. Like, uh, and did you just meet her at the end now, where the baby was born, or? No. So, I met, I've been here uh, with uh, with my surrogate mother three times during the pregnancy. To wow. come visit for the ultrasounds. And I've been with her, with her family. They're all amazing. It's been a great experience. Uh, being here for the ultrasound was was also very was very important for me. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you talked a little bit about how there's no control as an intended parent. You're far away, and there's this wonderful surrogate mom caring for you. What are some of the the the, the tips you would give intended parents who may not necessarily be close to their surrogate, whether it's in a different city or a different country? Um, I would like. Uh, I would say that something. Uh, I think it's very important is to empathize also with uh, with the surrogate. That's that's something very important. Uh, it's a it's an incredible person that is doing something amazing for you that you're gonna remember your whole life. So the the thing that you should do, in my opinion, is do a lot of research on uh, how pregnancy is, how pregnancy looks like, so you can understand how the how the process. And what is that person doing for you also? What, what are some of the things that you researched? You told me you took some classes too, right? Yeah. Make sure we let, let, the, let the viewers, we have four whole viewers, let them see your, your beautiful baby. Beautiful baby's here. 
You see her nice sleeper. Ooh, so cute. She's so big now. She sleeps well. She's stretching. Oh, she was born with 51 centimeters. Pretty long. Yeah. Okay. Longer so that's your tip. Um, so, so you took some classes, you said, right? Other tips, like just uh, trust. Trust is very important, as I said before. And also patience. And don't forget about being grateful. This is something mm -hmm. amazing. So be grateful and celebrate every single moment, every single milestone. I was celebrating every week nearly. Yeah. Every time, don't do that, don't do that. But yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a miracle every it day. Is. Exactly. So being grateful throughout the process um, and, and that will be something that helps you get through the journey. It is a long journey until you actually meet your baby. Um, what kind of tips would you give someone or what would you say to someone who may be watching this who could be um, a single person or a prospective intended parent? Yeah, so I would say for single persons, if you feel like maybe this is not something very common, uh, as I was thinking, I was, I was doing a lot of research also on like how's that about being a single dad, how's it going to be for the baby, etc. Just do your homework, uh, investigate if you want to do it, uh, try and find more people like you, more IPs, uh, more single dads uh, through surrogacy, and, uh, and go for it. If you want to do it, go for it. I would go say, don't, yeah. don't wait, just start. Don't wait. Did you wait a long time or you just kind of woke up one day and you wanted to do it? I wait a lot, <laughs> at least three years and a half to be like mm -hmm. really, to feel really ready. And uh, I think it was great that really, I really, uh, yeah, I mean, I did a lot of research. I saved a lot also. That was important. It is a very financially uh, taxing process. Yeah. But it's so rewarding, super priceless to have your child right exactly. in front of me. Exactly, like they are, uh, they're very different. Uh, cause so it's not like a whole. Uh, it's not. It's, yeah, you, it's not all at once. Yeah. Um. It's uh. Yeah, it's something you can do step by step. Yeah, and so, you're not like a. You're not some like crazy investment banker. Like you. Know, um, how is it something that you prioritize over some time, or are you? I'm not rich. I just I'm just a, uh, an employee in a normal company. Normal <laughs> company. Working yeah. middle class. That's what we all are. Right? Exactly. It's just yeah. uh, really want. And I think that's yeah. a really important yeah. point yeah. too, because I think a lot of the media does portray intended parents um, or people who who do need a surrogate as you know millionaires or celebrities it's just you know this was really just without a surrogate you wouldn't have this little baby right here so tell me a little bit about um the process now like how, how's it been um being a dad it's been 21 days so what's the high and low moments yeah it's uh, amazing i think after so many years i was ready and i had an idea of how it was going to be so i'm not scared that since she was born I was very comfortable and really just happy and pretty much uh, even zen. Uh, it's true that uh, you will not sleep the first night, but the first night you will sleep because apparently when they are born, they are born tired, something like this. So they sleep through the night, the first night. But uh, that did not happen for me. Really? No. Oh, the midwife still does it. I mean, working with her. But it was only the first night. After that, well, first night every... <coughs> Two hours, every one hour, 40 minutes, something like this. And okay. now it's more like every two, three hours. Okay. So yeah, I can sleep. I mean, three hours plus three hours. It's fine. It's not like, yeah, it's, it's doable. Great. Right. And just make sure you seek your resources in the community. Like just because you're a single parent by choice, like it doesn't mean you can't vent or complain or seek out your, your tribe and community to support you because you know, and did anyone come and help you and with your journey so far at the end? Yeah, so I think I met your best friend, right? Yeah, once here in Calgary, well, I had my I've had my parents for all this day, and uh, there's also my best friend that came visit for a week when the baby was born. So I was really good because I mean, being a single dad, especially, I would say you need some emotional support, even more than really someone helping you with the baby. What you need is. Just that, like someone. You need a cheerleader. You and yeah. you, I love you. I Perfect. Love you. Perfect. Well, we are all cheering you on, and 
Um, we wish you all the best. Thank you for sharing your journey. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Let's do a little one more shot of this cute little baby. Uh, yikes. Baby, cute baby. Aww. Congratulations. Thank you.